Now let's get into some World Juniors. Man, I'm fucking pumped for this tournament. The best hockey of the year every year. And we all need this right now. This is this is our tournament in Canada. And we need this. I really hope it goes through. We're at risk of seeing this thing getting canceled. Because of COVID outbreaks in different countries and different teams. The entire Swedish staff and some of their players positive. And now that... We're so close to the tournament starting. Once guys test positive right now, you're not eligible to play. So Sweden is in a, in, in a lot of trouble right now. Swiss guys have gone down. German guys have gone down. As, uh, Canada dealt with their issues, but thankfully they had that six-week camp going. And, uh, you know, they're back to practicing now. Hopefully smooth sailing from here. We've had five guys released for health reasons. And then the U.S., they're going to be bringing guys up that are playing right now, not in any sort of bubble or in protected area. It'll be interesting to see how their testing goes, but please, we got to get this tournament going. And I cannot wait to see what Canada, Canada t can do once we do get it going. The, the talent up and down this lineup. You look, we're going to compare this team to the 05 team. You know, with the Crosby, the Bergeron, the Duncan, Keith, the, the Perry, the Getzlaff. We're going to be looking back on this team like that one. Maritimes represented strongly in this World Junior Championship for Team Canada with Alex Newhook, Dylan Mercer, and Justin Barron. So <laughs> looking forward to that, man. It's good to see, uh, you know, our little, you know, side of the country here producing these top quality uh, NHL prospects. Look at the talent through this team's forward core with Dylan Cousins, Connor McMichael, Cole Perfetti, Kirby Doc, Quinton Byfield. These are like all first round picks, incredibly talented players. Then you go down in the decor and you have Bowen Byram, returnee, Jamie Drysdale, incredible defenseman, right hander, loves to get that puck into the middle of the ice. That is two strong players right there. Then we're looking at possibly Evan. Justin Barron from Halifax, who plays for the Halifax Mooseheads, joining this team. Very special player. Montreal Canadiens prospect Caden Gooley, who looks like a lock right now, according to Bob McKenzie. He's got that size, that similar play style to Shea Weber, despite being a left-hander. I'm fucking hyped about this kid. Very safe pick. Looking like a strong pick for, for the Habs. I can't wait to watch him play. I think him and Justin Barron would make a bomb pair. Uh, for the T, uh, the Canadian uh, World Junior team. Gooley with that physicality, the size, you know, gritty in the corners and in front of the net. Barron with the skating, the puck moving, the, the, the mind for the smarts and just the skill to go along with it. He's such a good skater. That's a terrifying decor for Team Canada. And... Out of the three goaltenders that are there, we're definitely going to come up with something strong. So can't wait for this to happen. And let's not forget the Russian rivalry. I feel like this rivalry is going to be the most intense it's been in a very long time. And that's saying something. We haven't heard a peep out of their camp. I am sure they are going to come in insanely strong into this World Junior Championship. They always have the size, the toughness, and the skill. Like... They're always top-notch in this tournament. They got Askarov in net. They've got a lot of uh, strong young players and skill. I don't know a whole lot about them, but why would I want to? They're Russians. I really don't care. Uh, <laughs> but this is going to be a good rivalry. Can't wait to watch it out on the ice and settle a score. And hopefully Canada defends this gold medal against them. Also always love watching the, uh, the players from around the, uh, the world, the rest of the tournament. Prospects you might normally not watch, but... You know, uh, Stutzel for Ottawa, like he is going to be a really special player. Talk to him challenging Lafreniere for that first overall pick just, uh, you know, a few months back. This is a very talented center for the Germans. Can't wait to watch him play. Then, of course, he got Montreal Canadiens prospect Cole Caulfield. Really good opportunity to see him rebound from last year. Cannot wait to see him play. Hopefully he's up there on the first line. That's what it's looking like right now. You know, sniping sniping goals and really taking over this tournament. He really should if if uh, he's the prospect that we all think and hope he will be for the Montreal Canadiens. Forget the Finns. They always cause problems for everybody. Sweden's been the strong round robin team for many, many years. But think of how many times we've seen the, the Finns upset them when it really counts. They always put together a strong team into this tournament. It's going to be no different this year. 
So be ready for them. I To me, Canada, Russia, Finland are the top teams in this tournament, especially considering what's going on. So please, please, let's have this tournament happen. We need clearance in Alberta. Hopefully that comes through and we get this underway. Christmas Day, U.S. Russia starting off with a bang. Then Canada's got Germany. We'll get to see Tim Stutzel right out of the gate. That's so exciting. And uh, oh my God, I just can't wait for this tournament. It's always just quality hockey, fast, skilled, back and forth. The goalies put on a show. Oh, it's going to be unbelievable. If you like this new series, hit the subscribe button, the bell for notifications. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, at Scotian Canadian. I also have a more in-depth, more serious breakdown of the Canadian division uh, with my buddy Tyler. And we're also planning to cover the World Juniors a bit here through the tournament. So uh, check out those links down in the description, and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers, guys.